the potential for severe weather exists for your day Thursday. I'm meteorologist Justin Ballard from the UF Weather Center. The Storm Prediction Center outlook has us under a level two on that one to five severe weather scale. Now, if you match that up to the color, that's the yellow that you see here across much of north central Florida. This slight risk does include the risk or the potential, I should say, for damaging wind and even a few tornadoes. So I really want you to pay attention to this forecast as we go through the rest of your day. Wednesday, again, fairly quiet conditions locally. By early Thursday morning, notice where that cold front is and that line of thunderstorms over the panhandle. This slides towards the east, and I think we'll even have some storms develop as early as sunrise tomorrow morning. In fact, it could even be the pre-dawn hours for 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. And that could have some heavy rain, frequent lightning, and of course some heavy winds. Damaging wind potential will be likely or possible, I should say, as we get into the early part of the afternoon. Here we are Thursday at 1 p.m. You see that line of thunderstorms here with that cold front as it slides towards the east. Once the cold front passes, our severe threat will come to an end. But until that cold front passes, we do keep the potential for a few stronger storms in mind here across much of north central Florida. Stay weather aware through your Thursday, Friday, looking a little bit quieter, still holding on to a few shower chances. The weekend, though, beautiful weekend, highs in the low 70s with plenty of sunshine.